We've had a mixed start to the season, but we are in the playoff places after nine games played. Can we make a push for the automatic promotion places in the games today against Blythe Spartans and Darlington in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 10 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, two games for you today. First up against Blythe Spartans and then we're playing against Darlington. So very much looking forward to both those games. We're unbeaten against both teams from last year. We picked up four points each against both of those teams. So very nice results last season. If we can keep that going this year, that would be very, very nice. But let's have a look at how we've been getting on since you was last with me for the first game of this season that's last year's results i was looking at that just a second ago and so here we are we did of course start the season off with a very disappointing 2-1 defeat against nunny and bala david and bala getting an own goal after he had already created our opening goal so a bit of a mixed bag of a debut for our new star man david and bala and then Tom Powell getting the winner for them in the 62nd minute. And once they scored, we never looked like getting back into the game. And the same can be said for our second game of the season. And already our second 2-1 game of the season. David Mbala trying to put things right a little bit from the first game. He opened the scoring for us in the 22nd minute. But then Ed Williams equalised in the 53rd. And then once again, when Milan Butterfield... What a name that is. Milan Butterfield. I love that name. And so, yep, he got the winner for them. And again, we just couldn't get back into it. That weird tactic I was going with, the 4-1-2... The 4-1-3-4-3-3, pretty much, I think it was. We've been that pretty much straight away after the FC United game. Because it just proved that we cannot defend with that tactic. And yeah, 3-3. Free, free, mad, mad game this. Zach Dronfield, a guy we got on a freebie from Norwich. He's opened the scoring for us. Sonny Carey got our second. And Alfie Payne got an equaliser for us in the 96th minute of the game. It was an absolute bonkers game. I was pulling my hair out. I was thinking up until that 96th minute that after being declared favourites to win the league, we was going to go and lose our first three games of the season, which would pretty much have written off our chances of winning the league, I think you can say. But then we did change tactics. I'm going to bring you the new tactic in a minute. And it has worked pretty much perfectly other than the Telford game because we changed to it. And, yep, 2-1 win. Zach Dronfield scoring the opener for us again. We're getting good at scoring the first goals in games. We just need to improve at defending. And so, yep, he's opened the scoring for us. Dan Holman got the equaliser in the 21st minute. And then we got quite a lucky own goal from Thierry Ordell in the 41st. And that was how that particular game ended. And then we lost to Telford. A game where I was, trying, I was starting to doubt the new tactic a little bit. But I thought I'd stick with it. We did lose that one 2-1. Andre Brown and Tyrese Dolan. Is that how you pronounce it? Surely he's Welsh. With a name like that, he's got to be Welsh. He's English. No way. Absolutely no way. Well, that, that is a mad name. That, that's a kind of name you make up when you're trying to play Scrabble and you're losing by like 50-odd points to your grandparents. Ross. Well, anyway, the boy with a weird name won the game for him. But since then, we have gone one, two, three, four games without defeat. Scoring, what is it, 10 goals? Three as four is seven. You're going to see me do some Rachel Riley countdown maths here, people. So 7, 10, 12, sorry, 12 goals we have scored, only conceding 2. 
starting off with a 3-1 win. Adam Marriott with what I think was his first couple of goals of the season. Yes, it was. I got a news report saying he'd broken like a 10 or 13 hour goal drought. And so he really came back, got a couple of goals there. Chris Smith with the other one to give us a very nice, very comfortable result there. Marriott getting an 8.8 .8 rating there. And then after that, we had a 4-0 win against Stafford. David Mbala, the new star man, with a couple of goals there. Odyssey Spy Rides coming into the team, getting our third. And then another own goal helping us out. Trent Mahorn, that's an awesome name. Trent Mahorn! He got us, he got us our fourth goal unintentionally. And very nice. I'm feeling very confident right now. And then 3-1 win. Just to get us even more confident, we won a game of football, scoring two goals with just 10 men. This is probably one of my favourite performances we've had of the season thus far. Zach Dronfield with a couple, George Brown with the other. And yeah, very, very beautiful performance that was. George Brown there getting man the match with an 8.9. Zach Dronfield a little bit unlucky not to get the best rating. Not quite sure how George Brown beat him. He might have got an assist or something. But yeah, Zach Dronfield getting a couple. And then our latest game against Stourbridge. Adam Marriott once again stepping up with a brace. Two within the first 17 minutes. So very, very happy boy. And that leads me to being very confident going into this game. And if we have a look at the league table before the game starts, we are fifth in the league. Blythe are third, a couple of points above us. So a win here and we go above them. And two wins today. And you might expect us to be in the automatic places, which would be very beautiful. And so guys, let's go and have a look at the team for today's game. We're starting off with Barnes in goal. Swain at left back, Friar Smith, Richards as the back four, Alfie Payne, Zach Dronfield, the ex-Norwich duo, really doing a good job in midfield so far this season, so they can carry on there. David Mbala, the star man on the left-hand side. I'm, I'm going to stop saying it every time I say his name, but he is that good. You have to say it every time you say his name. Um, if he scores today, I'm going to rename him to Mbala, the star man. And then Parsons as the attacking midfielder. And then Brown on the right-hand side. And then we've got Marriott up top on his own, hopefully carrying on his awesome form so far this season. The bookmakers have got us as favourites to win the game. We're 6-4, to four, so hopefully the bookies are right. They're not wrong that often, are they, people? So let's hope that carries on and let's go and get into the team talk. Here we are, we're in the dressing room and we've only got instructions for one Blythe Spartans player. Our assistant manager not that worried about him, to be honest. And I'm going to say to the lads, go out there and carry straight on from where you finished your last game. No reaction. That's surprising. And there we go, a bit more reaction there. So let's go and kick off the game. What prediction do I want to give? 2-1. 2-1 I'm thinking. First highlight of the game, two and a half minutes in. Blythe Spartans with the free kick. They play it forward to their main man, Wright. Goes to Gilboy, who tries to go out wide, and he does. And writes him with it. Cuts inside. No, he goes for the shot. And thankfully, that goes wide. Half an hour gone now. And as Blythe Spartans once again with the ball. Booth with the goal kick. He goes long. Can we win it back? We do there. Very nice header from Mbala. Marriott plays it through. Parsons is in. Come on, Parsons. Go for the shot. He's hit the bar. And it's gone out for a goal kick. But that was a nice little counter-attack. 38 minutes gone now. We're throwing the ball into the box. Gilboy heads it away. Goes to right. And he plays it wide to Newby. Newby, FM Newby, if you're watching, mate, you're playing against us. Please don't score. Please don't score or do an assist. Hackett is in. He's gone for the shot. 
and thankfully he puts that very much wide. Dronfield with the ball with a free kick for us just before half time and that's gone just a little bit too much to the left hand side. Mm. Not the most exciting of first halves people, not going to lie to you, but at least we're not losing. We're still nil-nil. Blythe have had four shots with one on target. We've had seven with just the one on target. Are our strikers getting maybe a little bit camera shy? Do they not like playing on camera? Hopefully that's not the case. As I'm going to go assertive. I'm not happy with your performance out there. And who's the guy who's stressed? Uh, it is Louis Swain. Why are you stressed? You should know who, You should know how I react by now. There's a lot more to come from you. There we go. Now he's a happy boy. And you know what, actually? Oh, do I move us off balanced? You know what? I'm going to go attacking. Sod it. Let's try and force the issue. Ten minutes into the second half, we've got a throw in. Brown heads it back to Richards. Mbala brings the ball down. Spins. Goes to Swain. And wow. That was awful. But Parsons. Oh, he got it on the rebound. He should have put that in the back of the net. All right, just making the one change, guys. Sonny Carey is coming on for Connor Parsons, who has missed a couple of chances to open up the scoring for us. So hopefully Carey can do a little bit better. And right on for making that change, Swain has done an awful challenge there. But, oh, no. I did spot that Mbala was hurt, but I was hoping he could stay on. How is he looking? 48%. Rolos. Absolute Rolos. Our main man is going off the pitch. It's going to have to be Spy Rides replacing him. He cannot play out wide to save his life. Let's try it with the inside forwards. And let's see what we can do. And maybe go for more direct passing. And go uh, distribute over the defence. And a higher line of engagement. That is what I'm thinking. Please, guys, I would love to get a win here. 20 minutes left in the game. The substitute, Sonny Carey, loses the ball there. But it goes to Payne. He plays it wide to Dronfield. And Dronfield, can he go forward? No, he can't. But he goes back to Richards. And that goes to absolutely nobody. But their man, Hansen, goes to the goalkeeper, Booth. Who's just taking his time in his own box. Goes for a long kick there. And we are unable to win the ball back. Wrightson goes wide. But Swain with the interception. And no, we cannot keep hold of the ball now. I think trying to go for long passes is not working. Might change it back in a minute. And Smith, oh, he got the ball. He got the ball. Oh, we have been robbed here, people. He got the ball all day long. Why is there not VAR in the conference, North? Ah, oh. Good penalty from Anas Abdo. Just launched it down the middle. And unfortunately, our keeper could not get there. And so, let's have another look at it for what it's worth. Keeper, very unlucky not to get to that. All right, just making a few more changes. We're going more for focus play through the middle. We're shooting on sight now. And we're going to go for slightly more direct passing. And distribute into playmaker. And we're going to go for standard and higher line of engagement. I think I might have mentioned that in the last one. But you have 18 minutes to go. Can we at least get a point out of this game? Oh, one more highlight. We're throwing the ball into the box. George Brown is in there. And no, that was never going to count, was it? That was never, ever going to count. He was at least a couple of streets offside. Very nice goal to take it down, though. But never going to count. Oh, that was not how I wanted this game to go. Lost it 1-0. A dodgy penalty. Neither side that brilliant, if I'm going to be honest. Blythe only had nine shots with just two on target. We had 11 with two on target and we had 55% of the possession. So yeah, not brilliant. And to get robbed by a penalty, that was never a penalty. Oh my days. If you thought it was a penalty, let me know in the comments down below why you thought it was a penalty. 
And I'm going to go assertive. I'm not happy with your performance out there. And a few lads are motivated. A few lads have reacted. I'll be back with you guys in a second for the uh, Darlington game. Alright guys, we're back. Just the one change made for today's game. And unfortunately, it is an enforced one. David Embala is going to miss our next two to three games with that injury he picked up in the last match. Instead, coming in for him on his debut is Sam Kelly, a 26-year-old left-sided midfielder. Got decent attributes, 11 for acceleration, 11 for pace, 10 for crossing and dribbling, first touch and passing. So hopefully, we'll be able to do a decent little job for us in the left side of our attacking midfield. Okay, Darlington are going with a very unique formation for down at this level. They're going for 5-2-3. That's fairly attacking from the lads. It'll be interesting to see how we combat against that. Hopefully we can. I, unfortunately, I can't see too many areas where we might get at them, though. This could be an interesting game, people. All right, so I'm going to say to the lads, the media have been on your back for ages now. This is your chance to go out there and stick it to them. And a few lads are motivated. And now just go with the usual Georgie, Georgie, Michael. Gotta have faith. God knows what the hell that was. I'm so sorry, people. Let's let's get on with the football, yeah? Half an hour into the game, finally getting the first highlight. It's a Darlington throw in, deep in our half. Dawson throws it to Holmes. Goes to Dawson, who crosses it in. And in they've taken the lead. Oh, we cannot win on camera this season. What on earth was that? Far too easy for them. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Dawson throws it to Holmes, who's in oceans of space. Dawson is in oceans of space. And nobody goes towards Hayhurst. Well, a minute later, we've got our first highlight of the game. Can we get the ball forward now? Kelly, on his debut, thunders it against the bar. And we're going forward again, but we've lost the ball now. And that is that chance gone. Ah, oh, that is the end of the first half. Darlington 1-0 up with that goal from Will Hayhurst. We've both had five shots apiece. We've had three on target to their two. 55% of the ball to their 45. So you would expect us to be doing a little bit better. Let's have a look at our instructions and let's see what is going wrong. Let's, let's go sort of passing, play it through the middle. And I think, leave it at that for the minute. Uh, be more expressive. Let's try that one. And let's go team talk. And I'm going to go assertive. We've been the better team here. See what they think of that. Nope. And yep, come on. Please let this work. Don't want two defeats on in one episode. That would not be very nice. Okay, we're making a couple of changes with, what, 25 minutes left to go? Carey is coming on once again for Connor Parsons and Adam Marriott who has not looked impressive in either game so far in this episode he goes off for spy rides and you know what we're going to put Kelly and Brown on to attack and Payne as well just try and get everybody attacking and just see what we can do to get this game working five minutes left in the game this might be our last chance to nick an equaliser Brown with the cross goes to pain and we are we have equalized we are level Kingslin have rescued it at the death Alfie Payne with a beautiful goal there his second of the season let's have a look at this on the replay Carey got the ball played it to Brown and it was his cross and Alfie Payne decanioed it into the back of the net my favorite goal of all time that decanio one and we've just seen it here in FM. And oh, might we nick a win? Payne coming with the ball again. Plays it forward, does he? Yes, he does. Carey, you've got a man out wide. Pass it. Oh, what was that sort about? Is he blind? Have I got to get us sponsored by Specsavers to get him some blooming glasses? And now Lidl coming forward for Darlington. We might still lose this here. I've left us on very attacking by accident. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. They, they have done this to me. Oh. 
I am a tactical idiot. Why didn't I think to drop us back down to positive? Oh. Well, that one's on me. That one is on me. Barnes was unlucky not to keep the ball out, to be fair. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not the result I wanted again. But we didn't play that badly, I don't think. They had eight shots, two are 13. Three on target, two are six. 54% of possession. I think if we had a striker who liked scoring when the cameras are on, we would have won that game. But I think Adam Marriott does not like being here on YouTube. And what do I say for team talk? Unlucky boys? Yep, yeah, that's put their confidence up. That's got them all motivated. Oh, that's been a disaster of an episode. Oh well, let's go and have a look. See where we're going to come back. As we are, what, 11th in the league? We do need top half. So we need to start winning games. Top half is what the board won as a minimum. So we're not in terrible straights. But wins need to come soon. And so where shall we come back? Let's see. I like to do it in like 10 game increments. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Murtha. That's a good one to come back for. Murtha and Curzon Aston. Because I've got some history in a Kings Lynn slash Murtha game. Which I'm sure a few of you who follow Kings Lynn will have as well. And you might know what I'm talking about. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's where we're going to come back. For Murtha and Curzon Aston, both at home. And so guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And go and check out the Passion for FM website. Some awesome downloads over there at the minute. Some awesome downloads, some awesome guides. Lot, lot of good stuff over there. Like I said in the last episode, they're doing record numbers at the minute. So please, please do check them out. And yep, guys, that is all from me for today. I shall see you next time. Arrivederci.